right, hopefully you've had some time to play around with the path mysteries here. Put, you've drawn a few of your own, counted them up, and hopefully you've been getting one. A thing you could have tried is to draw one where you don't get one when you add the vertices and the faces and subtract the edges. That's kind of an interesting challenge, so you might want to try that. But another problem-solving strategy that often gets forgotten in mathematics is start with a simpler problem. So let's take a really simple shape and see what we can do with it. That to me is a fairly easy place to start. Super easy to count. I've got one vertice or one vertex. I've got one face here and one face there. And I have two edges, one, two. And indeed, when you look at this, Vertices plus faces is 3, minus edges is 1. It follows that rule, the mystery that we've been kind of investigating. But we still don't really know why. So let's crank it up a little bit. I'm going to take this line and maybe just wrap it around like this. Okay? So it's a little more complicated than before, and I'm going to investigate again. Of course, this part didn't change. Still have this edge and this face and that vertex, so those are all the same. But down here, it's a little different. I've created one new vertex. What about the faces? Well, I still have the one on the top. I kind of have the one on the bottom, but now I've got kind of split into two. So now I have one, two, three faces. So I've added a vertex and a face. Now what about the edges? Still have the one at the top. I have this one around here, kind of where it was before, but a little bit different shape. And then I got a new one there, and then one more. So I actually have four edges now. So somehow, by changing this, I've created a new vertex, a new face, and two new edges. And if I do the math, five minus four is one. So maybe this is helping you start to see the structure of what happens when you add a vertex and change the number of edges and faces. How do they change together? Is there some coordinating way in which that happens? So that's your hint. Keep going. Start making some simple pictures. Build up to some more complicated ones and see what happens. I also have a couple interesting extension questions for you. For example, what happens if I just willy-nilly add dots onto a line? Like, oh, what if I just throw a vertex on there like that? Does that mess up the formula or will it still work? I don't know. And what if so far we've been doing one continuous thing, what if I then take that dot and just connect it like that? So I, I just added an extra line. Does the formula still work for that? And if it does, why? So that is your hint and a few extensions to keep you going.